fastest, what is it? Was it a song? Was Got the Ernie? fastest milk cart in the West. <laughs> Ernie! <laughs> oh, you're funny. Welcome back to Posh Cat's Cabin. And we're at Shugborough. Shugborough Estate. Estate, yeah. Uh, which is not far from Cannock Chase. It's about, we think, about five, five miles. miles. Five yeah. miles. Yeah, quite a narrow road to get here. It's only one way, isn't it? Oh, on the estate, yeah. On the estate. Yeah, on the estate. I yeah. think I put a little bit of footage in front of uh, this um, beautiful place. We haven't got the best day. Um, not particularly sunny, but it's quite warm. Um, I've got the waterproof max in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, we just wrapped up a little bit because there's a bit of chill. It's fairly early in the morning here. Um, I hear a train. Mm. Mm, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, behind the trees, behind isn't the it? Trees. Yeah. So this was recommended to us by Mark and Karen um, and they live locally I believe so thank you for the recommendation. There's quite a lot that you can take the dogs to as well. There is, yeah we had a look on so the um, National Trust website because we can get in here with our membership and uh, there's lots for, to, to see with the dogs and then there's some buildings that um, we can't take the dogs in but we're going to walk them well. Get the outside bit done. That's right, while it's do the outside raining. bit. And then if it does rain, we can go inside go and look at some of the buildings. Yeah. So let's have a wander and see what we can find. So we parked Smurf right at the back of this really big car park. There's a parking over the other side there for coaches. Uh, the guys are doing the, the trimming the bushes and things on this part of the car park. But the estate is massive and uh, it's a really beautiful place. And uh, we're going to go over to the reception area where you check in, get booked in and then we'll wander around some of the gardens. Was it a song? Was Got the Ernie? fastest milk cart in the west. <laughs> Ernie! <laughs> Oh, you're funny. Now well, we're at the reception centre. And it uh, looks like they've got some uh, some help for visitors if they need it to get around the estate. Let's have a quick look at the map here. You can see the size of the place on this map here. And, uh, and there's the local sort of hand-drawn map of where things are. 
plenty to see. I'm not sure whether we're going to see it all, but we'll give it a go. There's a little uh, garden centre through here. But we're heading towards the walled garden. It says there's a play area. So this looks lovely, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah. Looks like it's all been well planted out. Oh, I could do with one of them. I want one. Oh, you want one of those, do you? Oh Let's go and take a closer look. Wow. Look at that, Sophie. What is it? So she doesn't like the she doesn't like Molly the lawnmower. <laughs> Looks like they've drained the pond here at some point. And it says it's a dipping pond. Yeah. So the garden was completed in 1806 with Samuel Wyatt. So we found a direction post here, which we're going to go to the Park Farm Cafe and walk down towards the mansion. You can see the grounds here are just enormous. No bikes past this point. And that's the way roadway we came in on, where that van just drove past down there. And uh, the car park is just over to the left. Carry on walking down them. What do you think then, Oscar? Some picnic tables. A little bit of wind just got up. I think the rain is coming our way. But look, this is a lovely lake. And uh, just over there, some old buildings. Well, we've made it to the cafe and uh, you can see the signs to the mansion oh, that way and the Park Farm Cafe is dog friendly so uh, we're going to go in here and see if we can get a coffee or something. I wonder if there's anybody in. No, thank goodness. <laughs> so he's gone around the corner here. And she's going into the exhibition. Mm. Lovely old place. Where are the steps? He's wondering where I am, I reckon. Okay. 2,000 acres of farmland. Wow. The pig man. Oh dear, no, not very pleasant. Stop Family driving. friendly. Water wheels. As you know, I'm an engineer, so I always love to look at this sort of thing. Okay. 
over here is where you could walk down to the water wheel. Oh. And now there's millstones. where the miller would do his stuff. And another staircase down into the cellar. Thank you very much. Right on cue. The cockerels are over there in their pens. No doubt they'd have to be very careful of foxes around here. So we're at the back of the buildings here now. So this is the farmhouse that's being restored. We can't go in there at the moment, but we are following the sign Tower of the Winds. And this is where this little tower down here, let's go and have a look. And Sue looks like Sue's going inside. And I heard a voice saying it's pretty in here. So let's go and have a little look. Moat. Yeah, there's a doorway down there. Must have been a little yard. It's based on the Grecian idea of Arcadia. He said this was by the Anson brothers. This was used as a gambling den and they would use the tower which did have water around it at one time. Uh, apparently there's gold leaf in some of the rooms upstairs but we can't go up there just now. It's still, still being restored. This is beautiful isn't it? Quite an echo. Just a plain ceiling above, but you can imagine them with a table in here, gambling away their debts. Yeah. <laughs> or increasing them, or one or the other. A beautiful place, and you come out to the outdoors again. And there's just acres and acres of grassland and woodland. through the gate and it does say dogs on leads there's those sheep down here with an electric fence but uh, you know what sheep are like let me ask her no oh, I see <laughs> he's busy uh, yeah let's go for a walk around the park here come, now here come Ernie yeah and Ernie's on the Ernie's move on again the in the distance there taking some more people back to the car park we're approaching the mansion buildings now and the uh, mansion's just up the road here and there's more buildings and the tea rooms through the other side of the trees there and we've come from that direction this is the mansion look at the columns on the front of buildings. yeah yeah, now that the National Trust have got it, I'm sure they're going to be 
continue with the restoration. I'm going to take a closer look at this young lady with her horns. So if he doesn't like any wild stock or live livestock. He just doesn't like them. Ah. Well, we're entering some of the formal gardens now around the other side of the mansion and this is really pretty the trees beautifully kept As predicted it's now raining heavily and we're sheltering amongst these trees for a moment. And Sue has found some colours. So Oscar wants you to know that that's a step free path and there is lots here if you want to explore the estate. Um, they do have electric wheelchairs for hire. Um, there's an old monument here, which is a ruin. Now, oh, it's been here a while. We're struggling with the rain now. Every now and again, we get quite a heavy shower. This is the other side of the mansion with the formal gardens. Quite beautiful, and uh, we only wish the sun would come out for us. We found a bridge uh, just here across the river, and then just down behind Sue here is the boathouse. Isn't that pretty? We're still dodging showers under the trees. Uh, able to take a few pictures here and there, which is good. Well, we've been back to the van and dried off. We had a cup of tea in the cafe, didn't we, Sue? Yeah, we've had flapjacks. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't take any pictures of that because I was so soaking wet. But uh, we, we just had a quick cuppa. The dogs are in a van with a silver Shades screen up. The roof, isn't yeah, so. Uh, it's overcast, there's clouds. Yeah, it's not, the sun's not that strong yeah. and it's not on the front of the van. So we're, it out a bit. We're uh, <laughs> letting them have a sleep and we're going to go in the mansion. And you might recognise. We're up by the cows and the front of the mansion, I'll show you. The dogs in there. No, we can't take the dogs in the mansion, so we've come back for a, for a look, just ourselves. This is where we were a couple of hours ago. Still some heavy sky over there, but uh, we're going to go in the mansion now and have a look. See what we can see inside. So the Litchfield apartment has closed today. Sue likes all this wisteria. And there's uh, quite a bit of bloom on it. So this is the servants entrance. The servants quarters. There we are. And Sue just said there's a bell up here. Marked 1850. Let's go and have a look inside. There's a head chef.
Sue's found this family mm. silver. Silver? <laughs> My goodness, a, yeah. That's how long it must have took to, to clean that. Yeah, you want to polish that lot. There's a candelabra, that's what they call that, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like to give that one a polish. Right, right, look at this. Beautiful. They're all up nice and shiny. Yeah. Look at the pretty, pretty knives and forks. Yeah, all in the case the there. The enamel handles. All locked away. They're yeah, lovely. Yeah. Now this reminds me of an old scullery, they used to call it, didn't they? Yeah, they've got to get the iron done, got to trace oh my the God. Yeah. So these are, these are the old flat irons, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, used to heat it up. And this is on a boiler. Yeah, they used to stoke that up with coal, I suppose. Yeah. And so this yeah. is agitate the cloves in stones. Oh, yeah. So we're in the laundry area. Again at 5am to ensure the fire was lit and warming up, ready to start the day's washing. Using a bucket to fetch water from the tap in the yard, she had to make many trips to fill the laundry coppers. The largest copper holds around 100 gallons. And was used to wash clothing and linens. The small copper was used for delicate underwear and baby clothing. This must be a dining room of some sort. Mm. Mm. The stag's yeah. head's on the wall. Oh, yeah. John Wick and Stark were bought for 70. Well, this is quite good, isn't it? Beautiful old fireplace. Yeah, we've got the newspaper taper. Yeah, mm. clock. The old grandfather clock. It's permanently twenty to two. Lovely old cabinets. Some of the luggage. Lovely old flagstones, aren't they? You pay a fortune to have them put in your kitchen now. Wouldn't you just? Yeah. We're going to the kitchen, I think, now, aren't we? Yeah, look at this. Well, that's where I would imagine the servants, servants had their. Stuff, food. Yeah. The butler's pantry. Oh, we had one of those in Christchurch Park Hospital. Ah. It was where the head butler stored items that were not allowed to be used by other members of household staff. Alcohol, the finest glasses, and best ah, that's what kept it is. on the shelves. The butler undertook stock control and completed his household accounts at the desk. Warmed by the And here's the menu. Julian of soup. Trout with beer. Salmon cutlets. Gosh. Fricassee chicken, pork and tomato sauce. What's that? Second course. And some of the copperware. Look at this. Is there a cover slip? Go over the food behind you, hanging on the wall. Behind me hanging on the wall? And the covers. And the clock. It's ten to two now. Housekeeper's cupboard. Yeah. Lovely old Yeah, what they call a butler's sink, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this. Uh, look at this. Mm. Cool. Yeah. This copper sink was used and the old for washing pots and pans and for scrubbing vegetables. Oh, 
Now that is one Arga. <laughs> I don't think it's made by Arga. Hmm. Must have been lovely warm. Yeah. They would be lit, I would think, most of the time, wouldn't they? What is this? Beautiful old chairs as well. What came down there, do you think? The coal scuttle. The coal? Yeah. That's where they keep the coal. In there, but the high ceilings, just look. And the gamekeeper's store. Wow. Well, gamekeeper's store, yeah. It's curious. Yeah. I wonder if these are cold stores at the end here. We're going in the mansion. Hello. Hello. Yeah, lovely fireplace. Some of the original furniture here. Yeah. Creaky floorboards. These, some of these busts. They're well travelled. Mmm. All the architrave around the windows and things. Yeah. Yeah. So he's pointing out the shutters and these uh, ornate mouldings. Around. I think you carry on straight. Yeah. And this is a very grand hall. Look at the ceiling. Wow. And the paintings are huge. Gold leaf, isn't it? Yeah, I think it must be. But these look like Egyptian pictures, don't they, Sue? Height of those pictures are staggering. So this is the drawing room. These are the only paintings by this artist in England. So it's an Italian artist. And they're the only ones in England. And this big bay window here, sir, they've got the shutters closed keep the light out so the paintings don't get spoiled. Yeah. Um, beautiful isn't it? Yeah, and it sure talks about the drawing room here. Uh, completed in 1748. Look at the view from the window, sir. So. Yeah, yeah, is that the river that runs? It oh, is, yes. It is. It's, it's, it's the river. Yeah. Because the models, etc. He bought a play for. Or a right. play for. Or a play for. Revival of only forms and horses. <laughs> the chandelier, that beautiful. It's staggering. Look at the look at the ceiling. Thank you. 
doors. Oh, that's sweet. So this is a painting of the estate. There's a little bit of shine on there, but I uh, don't think I can use that for each. I love that boat. Oh yeah, look at that. to go shooting. There's the library through there. We'll go there in just a moment. And this is for the view from the steps of the mansion. So that's our look around Shugborough Estate, and this behind us is the mansion. And it was lovely, wasn't it? So, mm, was. really enjoyed looking around. We haven't seen it all. Um, we would have needed much more time, but. Uh, if you're in the Cannock Chase area and you're staying on the Campaign and Caravan Club site, give this place some thought because it's a really nice day out, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And uh, we've got cafes and things, so you can have a coffee on the way round. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye for then. Bye bye.